welcome everyone who's with us virtually and welcome to everyone in the room. This is our first ever data boot camp. So this is an experiment and at NASA that's what we do. Research and development, you are part of our research and development, you're our, our experimentees. So we're really thrilled to have you and we are so thankful for the New York team for pulling this together and, and Civic Hall for allowing us to have uh, this really wonderful space. And I'm gonna let some others thank the rest of our team, but I do wanna call it real quickly, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth has made the Data Bootcamp come together in a very short time, and Katie, as we have, so we have a really great team that's making this happen. Uh, but first I wanna bring to the stage Deborah Diaz, who's the Chief Technology Officer for IT at NASA, and Katie Coleman, astronaut Katie Coleman, who has flown six million miles, I think, in space. So they're gonna welcome you all. Hello, welcome everybody. And since we are, please join me here. Um, since we are running a little bit late, I'm gonna keep my remarks very small right now. Um, but I did wanna thank you all for coming. Um, we have been very excited about having women in data, attracting more women, letting you know about some of the opportunities. We want your creativity. We want all of your fresh ideas. And any way that NASA can be helpful, we're glad to have you as partners. And uh, we've got a big day ahead of us. Uh, lots of new tools that have been developed. We have the Space Apps Challenge over the weekend, and we'll hear more about that throughout the day. And I'm gonna turn it over to Katie right now, but I just did wanna welcome everybody. You have to stay here. You have to, you have to stay up here, David. So, I mean, she looks like a normal person, doesn't she? <laughs> She's the chief information officer for the C chief technical officer for the for the how do we say it? Chief technology officer for IT for NASA. For NASA, she was the chief information officer for Homeland Security. She created the first government portal where the government was putting information in a place that everybody could get to it. She looks like a regular person. She looks like you, and she looks like me. And that's really what we're all about here, is that. I think that there's a lot of messages that all of us get from everywhere that send us little messages about whether we're included or not. And I'll tell you that I, know, I really don't know much or actually almost anything about coding. And when I heard I was gonna go to the hackathon and be part of the Space Apps Challenge, I, I was a little apprehensive. Like, you know, that's not something I really know about. They're all gonna be working using skills that I actually have none of. And I'm somebody who could probably learn anything that they want to. Right, I mean, I'm, I, I, if I need to learn something, I'm gonna. And, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go learn some coding and I'll, by the end of the weekend, I'm gonna know what this is all about. But I have to say that I don't think that a lot of my fellow guy astronauts would have felt that way. I think that they would have said, hackathon, I'm in. I mean, cause you know, they, they know, I mean, they can send email, they, they know computers, <laughs> right? And, and I, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm being funny about it, and they're, they're really wonderful people who have lots of, lots of skills and also are the first ones to, well, they're not the first ones to admit when they don't, okay? That's what we're all about today, is the fact that you're supposed to be here. Your friends are supposed to be here. You're included, because we have big, big problems that we're very passionate about at, at NASA. We have big challenges because we have big goals. We wanna explore the universe, we wanna take care of our planet, and it is all about data and the data is not gonna sort itself out. And to really make those solutions happen takes more than one point of view. And I'll just get, we're gonna, we're gonna be all together, all of us, all day long. Uh, I'll just give you something to think about that I would like to hear at the end how you, what, what, what you think, but that is that some of you came here knowing each other and some of you don't. But no matter what, you've made, formed some opinions about the people maybe at the table that you're at and at the tables you chose not to be at. And I'll tell you, take some time to get to know people who you think you might get along with and some that you think, you know, they're probably pretty different than me and probably that's not gonna be a relationship I'm gonna have. People, let people surprise you. All of you are so interesting and so wonderful and you are the future. So you may as well take each other's emails down right now. So. Let's get down to the panel.